I am an actor. This is what I love to do. And Philly Brown, I, I can connect with this character. But if she's gonna spit, she's gonna she's gonna do it. Like you know, and I'm gonna come legit. And ultimately, it's like my father always said: you gotta take you gotta take a leap, and God will provide the parachute. And I just I went for it. I watched these rappers how far they spit from the mic. If they had the lights off or the lights on, how they enunciated, how they wrote their music, how finding the pocket. What was about finding the pocket? And really trained my butt off to to come to make sure that Philly Brown wasn't just a rapper that was, in, you know, that was growing and in, in transformation. I hope Philly Brown not only hits the map with the Latino community, but also with the hip hop community. I mean, a lot of, a lot of critics have been comparing us to 8 Mile and Hustle and Flow, which to me were phenomenal films, but have yet to be told through a female perspective. And a female perspective has to deal with those things that females deal with in hip hop and are so hard, like so much trying right now to break through. When we all got this script, it was, okay, this, isn't, this hasn't been done. We've never seen like a female rapper. Um, on screen at all, and, and let alone a brown female rapper. And we haven't seen a Latino film like this where all the characters are Latino, but it's not about Viva la Raza, and it's not about us speaking Spanish and the rosary and the Catholicism. It, it's about being an American Latino. It's about being an American first and foremost, and somebody pursuing their dreams, which we all can relate to. So I think we all knew that there was a possibility for this movie to be that second, third, fourth generation Latino story that we have so longed for. And so when we were on set and I saw Lou Diamond Phillips and Edward James Olmos and Jenny Rivera and JJ Soria and Amelia Rivera, and I was like, they're all here wanting to do this little indie film with me and didn't nobody know who I am. She came to me on our first time, uh, on our first day of rehearsal, and she was like, you know, we were like, okay, let's just, you know, the director was like, let's just jump into the scene. Let's just do it. And, and I see this look on Jenny's face, like, oh, we're just jump, oh, that's, we're just gonna jump into the scene. That's what you guys do, you just jump in. And, and I go, well, wait, wait, like, I could see the, and I was like, well, why don't, we, why don't you let me and Jenny get to know each other a little bit first? How about that? And I kind of, like, decided to just kind of jump in there, and I go, so why don't y'all just get away? Just go away. And me and Jenny sat and we told each other our life. And I told her where, everything about me and she told me everything about her. And I was like, all right, mama. So now you know, you know the secrets your daughter's keeping. You know who your daughter is. You know who Gina is. And that's all you need to know right now. You know, we're gonna build the character. But if you could connect to me, then we're gonna be fine. I think she did something remarkable, and I think she was just starting to open those floodgates. Um, she had never acted before, Philly Brown, and that's not an easy role to play, you know. And um, and yeah, she was very exposed to the tabloids because she was she had realized I think early on in her life, which I'm starting to I'm starting to get that is that you can only hide so much, you know? Like, if you're not that, like, pristine, everything's perfect, everything's in place, which I relate to. Cause like, thank you, Marlene. <laughs> I could not have done this, you know? I could not have done this. And there's only so much that you can hide from the world, you know, especially when you're put on blast like Jenny was. And I think the reason why she affected so many people is because she realized that she was human. She had kids, she was human, she made mistakes. She was in the public eye and, and putting, putting on makeup to cover that wasn't gonna work for her all the time. And luckily we had somebody just as strong to take off the makeup to do what she did. And she took it all off and she really had to peel like an onion and expose really gritty raw things a lot of us don't wanna show, especially in Hollywood. I think that's a testament to the kind of woman that she was. Strong, fearless, humble, and just this essence of greatness.